to my channel and welcome back to a very bad hair day today. Hope you're all well. Today I will be just talking to you about my foundation hacks or my hints or tips on how I make my foundation last and look flawless through the whole day. If you wanted to see how I created this look, I'll put the link in the description, so go ahead and check that out, but I'll carry on with the video, so let's get on with it. Okay, so tip number one on how I make my foundation look flawless is I shave my face. Yes, don't worry about the myths that you're going to grow back longer, thicker, crazier, whatever. I shave my whole entire face, it's amazing for the skin complexion and it just makes your skin look flawless and even coverage for the whole day. Tip number two, cleanse, tone, moisturise every time before you apply makeup. I don't know how many times people have told me I don't moisturise, I just whack on foundation as soon as I get out of bed, which to me is crazy. You've got to cleanse, tone, and moisturise. I can't stress it enough. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, prime. Always prime. And my favourite primer right now is the NYX Angel Veil. Loving it, bought it. Uh, a few weeks back now and I keep keep using it it's amazing it fills in all your pores so if you have big pores like I do it is a good primer tip number four I apply my foundation with a beauty blender obviously if you've seen my videos previous to this one you will see that I always always apply my foundation with a beauty blender and it's got to be damp obviously as you can see nothing can rinse out of it it is damp it's not wet so that's a good tip and it just makes your foundation look flawless and gives you that airbrushed look I've tried I've tried everything I've tried brushes before I've even tried as you've seen in previous videos, um, sex toys. I've tried everything, but nothing beats a good beauty blender. So invest in a good beauty blender. And then what I like to do after I've done my foundation concealer or that, I go and almost dab on. What I mean by dab is, I get my flat foundation brush, put it in some translucent powder and I almost just do a dab effect. I want to say like sta stipple or staple. I don't know what the actual term is but I'll just call it a dab and I go along my whole face with translucent powder and it will just set in and that is also a good tip if you suffer with oily skin that will just help soak it up. And tip number six is always set your makeup. So you can buy some setting spray, which I would not recommend the L'Oreal Infallible Mist. It makes your face all speckly like you've put paint on. But I would recommend this one. I use this to set my makeup and it is just a facial spray with aloe vera herbs and rose water and rose water is really good for your skin. Definitely recommend to set your makeup after all complete. And my bonus hack slash tip is Sudocrem. Sudocrem is my holy grail skin product, hack, whatever you call it. I apply a Sudocrem mask on my face every night before bed. Obviously put an old pillowcase on because it can get messy 
that my skin is baby smooth in the morning and it helps to protect your skin and prevent it, any acne coming and if you've got a bad habit of popping or picking spots like I do especially when I'm anxious I will pop squeeze whatever the spot and then I will always put pseudocrem on after and it will die down overnight I swear by it so that is my hacks hints tips tricks of foundation today hope you've enjoyed this one and hope it helps you out give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye